So I was out here, oh hi, uh, not really growing stuff anymore. But uh, so I was out here cleaning out the, uh, the garden uh, this morning and I thought I should probably uh, do a little bit of a video here seeing as how it's been quite some time since I have done one. Well, uh, I had intended to make a lot more, but uh, as my tomatoes ripened, I found myself um, spending a lot of time processing tomatoes as opposed to making videos about tomatoes. So that's kind of what I've been doing. Uh, I think last time I had mentioned that I got a Victorio food processor type uh, squisher, you might say. Um, and uh, at the suggestion of I'm still working, I saw a couple of her videos using it and it was just fantastic. I think I'm probably showing you a few little uh, clips of it right now. Um, saved me a lot of time from the first week when I just thought, man, if I got to do this with all these tomatoes, I'm never going to make it. So this thing uh, was a lifesaver. And uh, overall, um, the season has been freaking sweet. I got a lot of great tomatoes. Uh, way too many than I really knew what to do with. Um, brought a lot of them to work, shared them with those folks. Uh, toward the last probably three weeks to a month or so, I've kind of just let it uh, just let it go um, because I, I had enough tomatoes, <laughs> uh, but they just kept coming. So I guess that's all right. I just wanted to kind of go over. Uh, you know, I, I'm saving all my clips that I'm gonna. I got them uh, soaking in uh, bleach water, and. Uh, Come on, I'll use those again next year. See, this one's still got a few, tom well, quite a few green tomatoes on it, but just don't have time. Excuse me for just a minute. my bobbins again uh, next year. Uh, I have determined that I really can't use the styrofoam again. It sort of the, the sun has really uh, deteriorated it and it's only like 45 cents for uh, one of these covers so um, not a huge deal there. And I did take MHP Gardener's advice and I turned off my water supply um, last week so these right now, really light, don't have a whole lot of water in it. But I determined that, although a lot of people are reusing their paint strainers, I don't think I can do that. I think the outside sun has uh, deteriorated them so much that I just can't use them again. As you see, I've got quite a bit of algae that did grow up on here, mostly just top surface. So I thought, well, maybe I can use my light again but then I take take it all out and I determine that I've got algae growing on the sides as well I think that's probably because of the light container I should have got black ones I guess I was afraid of heat you know maybe some of this I can use again but the bulk of this I'm not going to clean out and uh, put back into the garden. So I'll be taking all this out. You can see there's lots of, lots of algae in here too. Be washing this out uh, using some of the little bleach stuff to clean it out. Store these till next year and uh, give it a go again next year. I do plan to have one more structure uh, right down here. I'll do two full structures of tomatoes and then one full structure of probably just um, peppers, lots of different, some uh, hot peppers, some sweet peppers. I uh, got some ideas from some folks at work. Get a, uh, a few more varieties of, 
of peppers next year. So that'll be kind of cool. I do have one more video that I'm going to, at least one more video that I'm going to do uh, in relation to the garden. I also have uh, a video that I really want to get done for some Kratky lettuce that I did indoors. I want to run that by, but uh, I have one more video of the outdoor tomato stuff. Well, uh, basically outdoor hydro. And that is uh, the slicing and tasting of each of the varieties of tomatoes. So you get an idea of what the inside looks like. Uh, I have still pictures that I'm going to put up there so you can see what the outside looks like. Uh, and probably a little taste test of most of them. I got all that filmed. It's just a lot of editing that I haven't really gotten around to doing yet. So until I get that done, um, this is probably going to be it for a couple of weeks. So thanks for tuning in. Talk to you soon. See ya.